Well, who am I to pass up a good challenge? <clears throat> I guess I'll just have to add underwear model to my resume. she has been into lately has been sewing. Now you have to keep watching this video because later on I will be modeling some boxer shorts that she made for me. <clears throat> I guess I'll just have to add underwear model to my resume. <clears throat> it's kind of like show and tell here today at Ivy Acres Homestead. Wendy also made this over shirt for me. It's mostly just an inside shirt, something to throw on to keep a little warm. My old one is still warm and comfortable, but it's a little worse for the wear. I think Wendy probably got tired of looking at it, which is why she made me that nice new one. I have been making progress on this compost. A few of the raised beds have already been topped off. I found a product that has made a huge difference with the nerve pain I've been dealing with. Salon Paws is not a sponsor, but it really has made doing some of the chores that I have to do out here bearable with the sciatica that I've been suffering from. Now I'm not a doctor, so take my advice with a grain of salt, but this pain patch it really takes the edge off. I can still feel the pain, so I know not to overdo it out here. But like I said, I'm able to actually get some things done out here and that, that really feels good. As I hoped would happen, when Wendy saw the fluffy new compost out here, she decided to go ahead and plant a few things. Right along this trellis, we'll have climbing cucumbers Back here, along this trellis, we planted some climbing peas, and just a little in front of that, we've got some bush peas. It'll be a smaller garden this year, but at least we'll be growing something. Over here in the in-ground garden by our quail hutch, we had tomatoes growing last year. Wendy has asked me to tie up some more twine between these tea posts so she can grow some beans this year.
I was cleaning out the rabbit tractors the other day. A disgusting job that I did not shoot any video of. Rabbit poop is good for the garden, fresh or aged, and it's pretty convenient to layer the stuff into these raised beds before we top it off with our regular compost. That way, Wendy won't have to mush her hands directly into it. Truth is, there's plenty of rabbit poop in our regular compost too. Let's take a look at one of our rabbit tractors. We use these mobile cages for our overflow rabbits that we just don't have room for up by the house. I'm not sure I would build these again They do kind of make a mess of the yard, and this is crazy. Over a few years, rabbit occupants have completely chewed and scratched through this two by two. Still, if we didn't have these rabbit tractors, we wouldn't have room for this cute little monster. We're getting closer to that underwear fashion show. But first, I wanted to give a shout out to my nephew, McGuire. He's studying abroad in France right now. And this video is titled Haute Couture Homesteading. So I just couldn't resist the urge to maybe embarrass him a little. Hey, McGuire, share this video with all your new friends in France. Maybe you can explain our American sense of humor to them. Full disclosure, I waited to shoot the underwear scene until I knew the only neighbors that could possibly see me were away on a trip. It's one thing to watch this on an edited video. It's another thing entirely to just happen to be out in your backyard and glance over and then have to say to yourself, what in the world is Brian doing now? Wendy made the underwear some time ago. Recently, we were at the store Coastal Farm and Ranch and happened to come across this egg collection basket bag thing that happened to have the same print pattern. Wendy decided to buy it for me and dared me to use it on camera wearing those boxer shorts. Well, who am I to pass up a good challenge? Whether you're on the Haute Couture runways of Milan or just back on the homestead doing farm chores, you will look stunning in these egg print skivvies. It's a daring look, but Brian <clears throat> pulls it off well. And look, he's accessorized with a smart matching soft cloth egg collection basket, practical and stylish. Give us a turn, Brian. This look is guaranteed to break anyone out of their shell. Like the eggs depicted, it is pan fried and delicious. One last peek. Always remember, leave them hungry for more.